Hey guys, it's another Firmware Thursday for you AxeFX3 owners. AxeFX3 Firmware 24.01 was released 59 minutes ago. Now it says it fixes a couple minor bugs in 24.00. Fixed right channel volume reduced in cabinet block when preamp is active. Fixed delay block distorting when presented by very high level signals. There you go. Okay, but wait a second. Firmware 24.00? What's that? Well... Firmware 24.00 came out earlier today. Improved speaker compression and amp interaction modeling. Changed master volume taper for Recto 1 models to agree with actual amp. Added global master volume controls to JS410 amp models. Added USA Mark V red amp models. Improved accuracy of USA JP2 C plus models. Improved accuracy of TX star models. Improved stack slash hold behavior in delay block. Improved handling of external word clock. Extended range of preset increment slash decrement sources to include rear pedal jacks. Fixed attack behavior of dynamic comp model to strong input signals. Let's see if I get this one right. Fixed wrong phase inductor bias point in class A 30 watt models. Fixed several mistakes in divided by 13 CJ amp models. Fixed several mistakes in two stone J35 models. Fixed wrong phase inverter bias excursion parameters in car ambler model. Fixed VU meter in cabinet block preamp section only showing left channel. Meter now shows the sum of left and right. And as usual, our best friend, various other fixes and improvements. I'll have a link for the firmware in the description and I'll also have a link for the most updated axe edit. So remember to use the most updated axe edit and after you install this, refresh after new firmware. Looks like you guys are going to have a lot of new toys for Christmas. Maybe us FM9 and FM3 owners will get something here. we got a few days left. All right, guys. Have a great holiday weekend. I'll be talking with you again next week.